Hey, how's it going, everybody? Weekend Vortex, and we've got the first installment of the Rush War here. So, we know how this can go. Hopefully things are on our side today, but it's pretty unpredictable overall. Um, so we're going to use our typical kind of Rush teams. By the way, I'm somewhere else today, so if you hear some talking in the background, just ignore that might not be as quiet as it usually is. Um, so in terms of the overall finish here, we are at 5,500. They're at 5,300. They have six flags left. We have at least six, right? S 15. We had 16 when I looked a second ago. So I'd say this is pretty much in the bag for us, uh, which is great. Very low scores, as is typical for Rush. Um... And a lot of tough teams left, so... Um, I'm kind of thinking about going for... Oof. Rush just always makes me question my team compositions. Um, 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we know we're going to reset. So I'm thinking like maybe I'll... Go for a Scotty team here, because those stacks can win even in Rush, and they'll add some Mana Control and a Dispeller. Um, in terms of what Scotty team do I use, I think I'm going to use the one that I used in the last war, because Costume Justice, as you may have seen in one of my videos, is a menace if she's the last one alive and you have buffs. So we'll go for the very safe version of this team here. Um, and yeah, maybe we'll go for a Grimble team on the other one. So if you haven't seen that video with Costume Justice, go check that out on my channel. It shouldn't be uh, too hard to find, but it was crazy. All right, so if you saw last time, uh, this is my updated Scotty team, at least for the moment. Um, I'm using Morel and Krampus in place of the two Kirills that I was using before. The downside is I'm losing the healing, right? My attack boost is much higher. Um, the survivability of the individual heroes is higher, but I'm losing the healing that I had in blue before but I was thinking about it and I was thinking well if I get the blue tiles I probably am not worried about the healing I'll have taunt I'll have a little bit of um a few minions to boost my health a little bit um in a rush it's quite different and then I'm thinking it's probably the heroes that I'm paired with that are going to make more of a difference so that's what I'm looking at now, who do I want to add to this team? I kind of like the idea of Lady of the Lakes, and she has really good stalling potential. And I wanted to bring a Dispeller. The question is, who is my Dispeller? If I bring... Onyx, he's actually slower. The second charge to hit three heroes would be 12 tiles. So I think instead I'm just going to opt for mana control. Just justice. Um, in which case, maybe I want to bring Mother North in case Proteus dies. Uh. These are the tough decisions of Rush. This will bring this guy a little bit tougher. And let's see what kind of board we get. My defense did really well this time, so I'm excited to show you that after the attacks here. Oof. Not so good. All right, 
red diamond. It's not really going to help a lot. But it does just send tiles down the middle only. For the most part. Okay. Well, that's a good start. Lady of the Lake is pretty helpful to have. Oh, for some reason I was still thinking nine tiles. Don't know what happened to Morel. All right, so we'll set her off one more time. Get Morel in on the action here. And if you didn't see last time, we're going with Morel first, who has a crit troop, so his attack stat is not allowed to get too high. And that adds the defense down. We lost only one minion, which is really good because these minions are 340. Um, and he's not doing quite that much damage. Then we go attack up. And then my favorite part is since we have nearly 10 minions against us, um, if we can, we make one match of weak tiles, which is pretty goddamn risky right now. But we make one match of weak tiles. All their minions drive up my attack boost. Oh, and we got Proteus now. So only plus 65, only got two hits on me there. But then we do this and we get tons of stacks. And then we just, it's like a rodeo at this point. Just got to stay on the bull, stay alive. Which for me usually means making pointless matches. Not pointless, but don't touch him, right? <laughs> there we go. Okay. So that was a couple of good heroes on that team. Multiple Ludwigs. What can I do here? Hmm. So Lepiota is good against Ludwig. Because she's a dispeller. Can completely remove him. Lord Loki could be pretty good against Ludwig as well. Let's go with another minion team first. This one or this one? Definitely this one. Okay, so this is going to be Grimble. Yeah, really just Grimble. And then the thing to think about here will be maybe to go closer to Rainbow. Because with five minions, we're going to gain four tiles. So that means we'll only need one match in each color if we can get two purples. And then who will we want to have with us on this team? So sort of a new strategy here. Let's see how it works. Grimble. Um, so we have minions, we have overhealing, we have more minions. We have just Balder hitting a lot. So I think I like... I don't know if that's... I'm trying to think of... Well, I'm not really going to have to face that many Alpha teams because it's the end of the war. So uh, this is one of my favorite counters. 
We need a healer in a different color. There's no ailments on this team, no, not really. So, not Leidenbrock. Don't think I need to use someone quite as good as Ariel here. Um, maybe Bald Tusk, and I'm going to save Loki for what is a more threatening team, but I don't want to totally underestimate this. So one more decently powerful hero. Uh, Snowfod could be interesting because that would mean that him firing and Grimble firing on five minions is a full charge for everyone. Now let's try that. Two healers. Oof, it's putting a lot of... Um pressure on Kingston and Fog. Let's try it. It's a new team. Ugh, the worst. Okay, then there was this. And... Bolt Tusk. Look at those stats, though. HP is a little low, but defense is massive. Attack is actually pretty good, too. It's not going to hurt your red tile damage too much. Um, okay. So getting purple or green early will be really helpful. Get a heal going as well. And maybe a purple down the middle. No. And now the board is dead. Okay, so we're definitely going to set... Uh, no, we don't need to set her off again. So we don't need to use both healers. So let's see where, let's use this, see where this gets us. Okay, so the only real threat here is Morel. So we can just kill Morel. Okay. Then we can get those guys going again. So do it this way so we don't lose the mana on Znolfod. All right, who's next annoying? Um, Light and Brock, and then we have a ghosting lane there. So we'll use our attack up to make sure with that. Wow, that is unusual. I think she was limit broken. Okay, so need her to fire again. It's a waste of purples here, but that's okay. So we'll do this first. Grimble, not quite it for the greens. That was not the best way to do it, but next we're going to kill Devana. And now I'm feeling pretty good, so let's just get some tiles moving here. Um, <laughs> Dad to Minion, or to Grimble. 
Okay, only two down. What do we want to do next? Take out this Ludwig team with my plan so far, which will be a Biota. Another counter being. Where is he? Lord Loki. Um. else so if Ludwig goes off they're gonna well, that's not the best idea to put the counter attack person there you can understand why they would but sort of a weakness so they're just going for tons of lady of the lake minions so let's give ourselves a little help here and where is she What? Am I blind? Where the hell are Freya and Bira? There they are, Jesus. <laughs> okay, so this can give us some help potentially with just wiping out that strategy of theirs. Um, then we have Bobo. So what do we want? We've got copying, we've got minions, we've got dispel. We need some damage here, I think. Um, maybe we'll go taunt. And I think Octros could be good. He holds on to that Black Knight buff for one turn longer. So that's potentially pretty good. So let's see how it goes. Okay. Obviously purple or blue were the preferred because if Ludwig goes off early and I can't match purples. That is going to be Lady of the Lake going insane. So, what can we do? Shit. We have one blue match, zero purple matches. Oof. Oh, no. We have to take the blue and hope we get something else. Nope. He's about to taunt. Still, we gotta keep working those purples. So, we'll do this while we have it. Maybe we get a blue here as well. well. That just gives us taunt again, which doesn't really help that much. Oh boy, so it begins. Um, shit. One purple match, come on, how are we gonna do it? I guess we go in here. If we can set Ludwig off again, we weaken the mana effect, but there goes Lady of the Lake. Okay, green does nothing for us. Oh, man.
shit, maybe we get purples on the side, maybe we get nothing at all, come on. Okay, come on, come on. We need more than one purple match because of these freaking minions. Uh, we have to match it into Lady of the Lake. So let's take this combo. Okay. Ouch, but okay. Wow, how did I not bring a healer too? What a moron. Oh, fuck. Lord Loki's dead. Oh, shit. Okay, at least we have Taunt. Dispel. So I need Lord Loki because I need to use him to heal himself. So don't touch him. Don't touch him. Oh, shit, we did it. Oh, God. Okay, now we really need Beer to go off. Lady of the Lake's going off anyways, so maybe we can kill that one minion at least, improve our chances here of future minions if we can just stay alive, motherfucker. So if I hit that blue diamond, that's going to give us one, two, three, four, five, six. And a purple match. Still have Taunt active. Ooh, I thought he was dead right there. Come on, <laughs> stop hitting Bira. Oh, God. This is going very badly. Oh, this is worst case scenario. I'm surprised I'm taking so much damage, honestly. Ugh, that fucking just constant hit three was more of a nuisance than I anticipated. Oh my god, that's so many minions. Hey, finally got a little bit of luck here. Will it be enough? Almost certainly not, but we'll give it a try. Try to take a big chunk out of those. And they're healing. And we got nothing. Okay. <laughs> it's enough. It was enough. I'm fucked. Damn. Oh my god, Lady of the Lake. Such a pain in the ass. And how does she not have that effect on her yet? Because all my minions are already fucking dead. <laughs> oh god well let's go for a big combo deal as much damage as possible not that it really matters but might as well damn ugh okay So this is one match where I am going to stack yellow. If we can get it, it'll be a big help. And then we need a couple of good healers. So maybe we'll take Mother North here, since this team is a little bit riskier. And... Mickey... Moves all status effects and stacks from caster. Even undispellable. Ghost form. Can't gain mana. Increased defense. Boosted HP. Okay, so kind of a Leidenbrock heal with boosted defense, but he can't gain mana. Oh, 
we're struggling a little bit with these last few teams. Okay, I was thinking I ideally want blue first. So we'll take blue first. Boom. That was nice. Alrighty. Just hold that thought, Black Knight. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop you right there. And it's over. All right, so do they, st they have two left, so this is totally over. They have two left, I have two left, but the war is won. So, dodge. Or minions, what other anti-minion stuff do I have? I think it's just fluffy. So we gotta do a Ludwig team. It's too fun not to. So, what do we got here? Sarnia, Dodge. Let's do that here. So I'm thinking Ludwig. Uh, Sersha. I think Cillian. I already used Octros anyway, so Cillian. Um, and then I think these guys can win it on their own, so what would it be like if I did this? So, Sarnia is a big threat. Catalan's dodge, we would just have to wait, which means taking damage from other heroes. There's a lot of healing here, and if we have Taunt, we're in a pretty good spot. I think I need some Mana Control. Um, so we'll stick with the boosted health. And let's give ourselves some Mana Control. Let's see, do I want to use someone else instead? Um, let's bring the Stronger Hell, we'll bring Alfrank and Proteus in the last team. Alright. Getting close to the end here. We got two purple matches. In many spots. We'll take that, take this, and <laughs> a red diamond, so unnecessary, we'll block dodge, and we'll get the ball rolling here, boom, boom, we'll use the diamond while we're in the early stages, <laughs> oh my god, that was quick. Wow, what was that? 15 seconds? Someone check the video. Let me know how fast that attack was. Even faster than the uh, than the one over there with my yellows. Okay, so let's see. What does my last team look like? I think it'll be Proteus. I think Ariel. Alfreich. Be 
Athena and Quindel. Good mana control, good damage, good healer. Sure. Sept Kazarot does punish Ariel. Um oops. Four flags left. We'll go here. Okay, so that was Ariel Athena Quinnell Proteus Alfrake. Didn't use the Gillen Bursties at all. Okay. Okay, so purples are the gold standard for opening moves, so we will just take those. Hopefully he does not mana shield. Let's start here and we'll spot treat with Proteus as needed. Don't you dare mana shield. Okay. This is the high damage side. Uh, see if we can get a green match out of this. No green match. Whew. I didn't plan ahead. Do we think? Two blue tiles will kill Kenshin. We better hope so. Save Ariel just in case. Okay, good. Um, Inari could dodge, so maybe let's see if we can kill Aslar with that extra damage. Wow. That was nice. And then Inari is such a squishy piece of crap that she'll probably die there. She's not bad, I'm just kidding. I like Inari, but she is very squishy. And I do fault her for it. Alright. With the defense down, Union's definitely dying. And we'll get some poison on you. Alright, 5 out of 6 is pretty good for Rush. Um, no Alphrag tanks, so... Obviously I didn't challenge myself as much as possible. Um, but whatever. Thought that might happen. Okay, that's the war. We won. It's awesome. Let's take a look at the defense here. Nittany Lion Roar in first place. Still made it in the top ten. Only two of their, only two of the enemies did better than I did, which is good. All right, let's take a look at defense. So here's the team that I went with. Um, very passive, but unlike in tournaments, in wars you don't get boosted damage when the timer starts. So a passive team can be 100% successful. In tournaments, passive teams like this on rush defense are not as good because damage is scaled massively at the end. So if you can find one opening and you have enough attackers, you can you can win. Um, so you really need some some threat, some teeth on um, in tournament rush attack on defense. Here we've got revive um, putting. What's his name? Ludwig between Alfrike and Mother North. So one, we got Alfrike going as much as possible. Two, if we've lost heroes, even if they dispel Ludwig, we've got Mother North reviving as much as possible. So just rolling the dice as quickly as possible to bring those heroes back alive again. 
the stall potential of Lady of the Lake is just massive, as you saw. Um, she fires once. It can be the difference between a win and not a win if you can't reverse it very quickly somehow. Um, and if she fires twice, you're probably screwed. And then if you have Leidenbrock overhealing, Alfred going off, uh, it can easily get zeros. And it did. I took a little peek before. So the very first attack against me, one shot. And I was like, what the hell? But it happens, you know. Good early starting board. And that's it. Uh, then it really started to come alive later on here. So a nine. So someone made a dent. I don't think that's enough to kill a hero. And then after the nine, a zero. And then another zero. And then someone was able to take it out. So that's pretty awesome. Um, two zeros. So four hits there. And a 4 and a 50. So two hits for that one. And then... What? thought there was another attack. Oh, I missed. Just a regular 0 floating around in there somehow. And then just a 0 for the heck of it. Against the fresh team. Yep. So this is after an attack. <laughs> so yeah, pretty great. Um, happy with the win. One thing I want to add, just a, an observation for rush attack. We had a bunch of teammates really struggle with their attacks. And it's easy to get down on yourself individually or for the entire alliance to start to worry that that tilt can be contagious. So keep in mind that you can really struggle and still win significantly, right? We have no idea how much the opponent is struggling unless we're scouring the leaderboard and trying to translate those scores into what we think their experience might be. So don't worry, right? You can still mess up a lot of attacks and massively win as we've done here, even if it felt really bad the whole time for a lot of people. So you might see that happening in the chat and you might be like, oh, it's hopeless. It's just, it's just not our war. It's just not going well for us. Sometimes you just can't win. And if that happens to too many people in the presence of all of that doubt, I think that can help you lose. <laughs> um, so just keep in mind that very, th that very same thing. Uh, it's something that we talk about in our alliance of like, yeah, just don't let that affect snowball because that can be something that contributes to a loss. And um, it's a real thing. So that's just something I wanted to add because I've seen it now a bunch of times here and, uh, and we still won. So yeah, please hit that like button and subscribe to Quick Clicks to help you support the channel. And I really appreciate it. it helps me out a lot. Um, it just makes it more fun. I feel like seeing that engagement um, makes me want to keep doing what I'm doing. And so it seems like a win-win situation for both of us where you guys like the content. I enjoy making it and sharing things with the community. So um, let's fuel that fire. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.